So this year marks the 10th year of opening the Seahorse and I can't believe that time has gone so quickly. It seems like yesterday that Matt and I were sat in a bar in Bath thinking about one day we'd open a restaurant by the sea and cook seafood over a fire. And uh, for the 10th year we've decided that uh, we needed a new kitchen, the old one was falling apart and we're adding a lot more equipment in there because Jake and uh, young Matt are taking the kitchen over and uh, they're going to be leading the cooking so it's going to be a great opportunity for them working in this such a an amazing kitchen. Right now they're doing everything bar cooking. And this is now Friday, and uh, the guys are gonna be finished tomorrow, uh, apparently. And uh, so it'll be really great, but it's a beautiful kitchen. Everything has just been really kind of thought about, really gorgeous finishes on the edges, like these really gorgeous uh, mirrored roll tops and, and one big unit in there with everything we need so we can cook pastas, plancha fish, cook fish over charcoal which is what the restaurant's become known for and one of the things that we've always wanted the restaurant to be is a place that people can come and eat every day it's not just for high days and holidays and we've always had this 20 pound menu uh, for the last 10 years and so we're going to carry on that 20 quid menu uh, with a choice of three starters, three mains and a dessert. And we want the place just to feel like the kind of dining room you can come along, have a bowl of pasta, a little bit of grilled fish, uh, some grilled meat, uh, fresh salad. And in the bar here on Friday nights, we're going to be having chicchetti from five to seven uh, so that people can just come in, have a glass of something and enjoy some gorgonzola, some finocchioni, some sepia fritti, something just complimentary with their drinks. And we're just getting ready for the new menu. All the team are training in here. And uh, looking forward to all the food. There's some new wines on the list as well, which is going to be really great. And for those of you that missed our £15 menu that we did just before we closed, that was totally ruined by the snow, um, don't worry, we're going to do another £15 menu when the restaurant opens so that we can just share the kitchen with you and share with you some of the new dishes that are on the menu. So we look forward to seeing you.